town yeah. is like a Christmas town. If you look there, there is trees that look like Christmas trees. It does look pretty, pretty cool. This is Threadby Village. Bunch of shops and stuff. I love the stonework on the side here. That's pretty cool. You can see they clean it pretty well. But uh, yeah, we're getting a bit of a blizzard at the moment. I don't know if you can see that that well. How cool is that tree up there? That is sweet. Okay, we're not buying a beanie for it from there. Okay. It's half price. But the original price is three hundred dollars for a beanie. I'm not even joking. What? I'm not joking. Go have a look at. Is the, it a gold-plated beanie? Bucket beanies. The bucket beanies it's are three hundred. Oh come on! Let's see this three hundred dollar beanie, Ethan. What the what the? Let's have a look. Here's a. Oh my god. That. It's three hundred ninety-nine dollars. For what is it for? Just this SOS. So when you when you get lost in the snow and your black beanie. Okay. Go find that is crazy. <laughs> that is stupid. Yeah, it's stupid. Those, those two were stupid. <laughs> <laughs> That's They're it, buddy. Company of my iPhone. Alright. So we're on the uh, on the chairlift now. I, I stupidly, as a really bad husband, did not think about my wife has a bit of a, a height height issue. <laughs> um, and you know, it's not that high, but it's high enough to make you feel uncomfortable. The sun's finally came out, so that's nice. And I've got Ethan all the way back there. Hi, Bubba. There he is. He's with his grand pair. And he's saying having a good super time. still. Otherwise mum's going What a ninja. <laughs> and uh, we've got a nice deep pit here. Yeah. Um, just to, to make mum feel really nice and comfortable. Yeah. And it goes all the way up. To there. And that's where we're going. And I'm not really <laughs> sure why I made that decision. Um, I genuinely am unsure why, why that was the case. It's been so long since I've been up to the snow properly. It just looks so cool. Love it. Yeah. Love it. Um, maybe not so much more. Fuck life. this shit. <laughs> these are the cheerlist operator guys. Look at these dudes. Is this just in case you go, no, uh, this is it, I get off? Stop the, <laughs> yeah. stop the ride. Like I think you, it is. I like think... you did on the Thunderbolt. Yeah. When you finished going oh, forwards, you went, nah, that's it, I'm out. Let's go, guys. Hey, Thank these, you. these are the awesome guys. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they, I, I went on a. Yeah, it was the Thunderbolt, wasn't it? It was like a ride. Yeah, mate, tough. And um, I, I, I went forward and it sort of spun around a big circle and the, and the car sort of slipped to the side and then back at the side and then back. Um, but then, then it was going to go backwards and I was like, you know what, I'm not really up for that. So, um, yeah, I decided to get off and I think that was a really smart idea because of the fact that uh, someone threw up everywhere because they were not smart enough <laughs> to get off. Look at this dude, carving the snow. Look at this kid. Yeah, look at this dude. Snowplow, young child. <laughs> snowplow the whole way. Stupid snowplow. It doesn't really work, does it? Loving the snowiness. <laughs> did you tell him that we tried to go up the ski lift? <laughs> yeah, we did too. We tried to go on not this chairlift, but the ski lift, which we didn't know. Because, you know, in Threadbow, just be aware, if you ask a question like, where is the information centre, they will not tell you that there is a bus to the information centre. They'll say it's a 10 minute walk. Then if you say, oh, are there any buses? They'll say, yes, they are. Then you can say, 
where are the buses <laughs> and they'll tell you where they are. And how often do they run? And how much do they cost? Yeah. And prompt and prompt and prompt. Yeah, you pretty much have to ask every possible question you could think of. There is no information uh, added for your convenience. Oh, oh, and then we got to the information centre and I asked the information centre lady, are there any good restaurants or... Uh, or uh, cafes for, for coffee and for food. And she went, yes, there's plenty. Walked away. <laughs> That's true. We did actually have to ask where the restaurants are. That's great, um, motherfucker. You know, where would they be? Do you know any idea of what sort of restaurants they are? Mm. All that sort of stuff. Um, so, you know. And uh, I think I've, I've made a blunder. I've made a blunder. My wife's not happy. And it's always that Ugh. old age adage, happy wife, happy wife. Alrighty guys, we'll see you when we get the hell up the top of that. We've got a double white cheerleader thing here, so that's Great, pretty so interesting. Can fall on us. Yeah. <laughs> Death by snowboard. Yeah, yeah. We could get tocked on the head by a snowboard uh, by these guys coming across the top of us. Mum's shielding her head, which is totally going to help. Oh, it's from the blizzard that's coming in from the side. Awesome. Where the hell are they going? Buddy, right at the top of the mountain. Do you think this was a silly idea? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think um, that was a bit of a silly idea by Dad, wasn't it, Grandpa? I think we're going to go around the other side and we'll go down the mountain again. So there you go, guys. Um, I don't know if that was worth us coming up here. Their skis come off. Oh, they have too. Yep. They've totally lost their ski there. Those aren't easy conditions, are they? No, no, it looks nuts out there. Yee, this is the best place to stop! So here we are guys, we're on the way back down again. Uh, I'm with Ethan, who's going to sit nice and still, and he's trying to keep out of the blizzard, that's why he can't see his face. There we go. Oh, <laughs> We're trying to get down to the bottom, but unfortunately we're still going to go up that hill over there. Um, we did go up there, as you saw, not much to see due to the massive blizzard. So, um, you know, what can you do? What, who needs a bridge up here? And walk who do you think walk, is walking the up the bridge? The depth of the trees! Yeah. If you fall down there, you'll probably die! Yeah. Die for goodness sake, don't uh, make me maybe, die! Maybe stop talking about the death thing. That's, that's <laughs> not always a good thing to talk about. So guys, we've just discovered a little, like, a lift. Yeah, it's like there's a little escalator there. You probably can't see it through all the trees. Um, but there's like a little ski tube and it sort of lifts them up there, which is pretty funky. I reckon that's a pretty cool idea. Some skiers going down the hills. Nut bags. I did used to ski, like when I was a teenager, I went uh, a couple of times to the snow. Okay, people are being so stupid. Well, they're... Oh, they're look at it! Yeah, look at that. Some of them are little kids, buddy. The way to... Oh, boy, did you see that dude? Yeah, he's, he's off the track, isn't he? What did you think of the snow lift? Yeah. We were going to go some tobogganing, but we decided to do something instead, didn't we? Yeah. We're going to 